Okay, so a couple of days ago I brought the bongo into the back garden to uh, get rid of some crap, basically, to the tip, including the dining room table. But it was quite a tight squeeze and I ended up doing a bit of damage to the side of it. So you can see here the side door's got some scratches where it caught my uh, gate post. Um, but such is life. My problem is I've got a sort of a 60-40 gate and the big post in the middle doesn't come out anymore because it's swollen into the metal met post. So I have a plan. I've screwed two large screws in this side of the post and two in the opposite side. And my plan is to wrap a chain that I got off eBay for a tenner, which I bought. I don't know why I bought it, but it was cheap. And uh, now I'm gonna put it to some use with this spare tire of the bongo and see if I can remove this post directly upwards. All right, first thing first is my chain. has fed round. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see this. So the chain goes over, and what should happen is when the chain gets pulled laterally, the post should get pulled upwards as the wheel moves and up and out of the ground. That's the plan. The next challenge is to get the chain onto the front of the bongo. And the towing eye by the bull bar should do the job. So, one of the towing eyes is just under here. My challenge is going to be making sure the chain doesn't actually scratch the underside of the bumper, etc. It shouldn't do because of the bull bar, but I'll line it all up and see where we are. I might have to extend it with some of that old rope I've got. It might be the sensible thing to do, in fact. In fact, I'm going to do that anyway. It'll give me a little bit more length, and it will also... Are you waving, Bran? You wave? Ah, uh, no. Move move um i think you wave no that's not a wave Finn. go back go back and sit down that's not going back back sit okay so i think what i'll do is extend it with that old bit of blue rope onto the toe up to eye then onto the hook because that will give me a better angle plus if the pull does pull out suddenly i won't go through my windscreen and kill me so let's see where we go from there so i've attached my rope hook that onto the hook and a couple of clove hitches a couple of clove hitches onto the towing arm not onto the bull bar. Very slowly, let's see if I can do this. And that's why you stand well back and nobody's around and why the dogs are back in the house out of the way. Okay, that's now directly on the towing eye.
success.